Hi everyone, this is Vinita and we are here at the Think Kitchen Studio. Uh, since this festive season is just around the corner, uh, I'm bringing to you a very old favorite which is Besan Ka Laddu but in a healthy avatar. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Besan Laddus? I can think of lots of ghee, lots of sugar and spending a lot of time roasting the Besan Atta. So in this recipe, you're going to do none of these three. We're going to be using the Royal Prestige Innove skillet and it's going to make roasting really easy. So let's begin. Uh, so here we are taking the besan and we are just going to be dry roasting it in the skillet and because it's uh, very thick, it's 5 ply surgical stainless steel, it will let you roast slowly but at the same time without burning the besan. Uh, we are dry roasting this by stirring it and we have to keep roasting this till the besan atta is fragrant. So it usually takes about 10 minutes. Believe me, it's far less than what you would do in a kadhai and without the fear of it getting burnt. But don't forget to stir. So for our fat, we're going to be using dry coconut. You know the brown ones which are dried up and come in two separate bowls, they call it vatis in the market. So these are, this is finely grated coconut called copra also. Uh, we're going to use uh, powdered almonds as our sweetener we're going to use dates uh, you can also use jaggery powder but by keeping it with dates it's great for anyone even if someone has to worry about their sugar levels they can still eat these and if you have got children and you want to even use this as a tiffin snack it's really great because they're very very nutritious uh, besan of, of course gives us the protein and these give us the healthy fat the coconut and the almonds and believe me these are far less calorie rich than the ones which are made with ghee and sugar so let's begin what we're going to do is we're taking the dates and we're just going to blend it in the blender so that it becomes a smooth paste after the dates we're going to add now the dry coconut So all the ingredients are now in the blender, we're going to take it out, it would look something like this, all the ingredients are well integrated and now we need to bind this with our hands and roll into laddus. Into this we are going to add the elaichi powder and then start rolling this into lettuce. So as you can see because the fats are all there and the dates are great for binding, it will start forming into a ball. So with the body heat through our hands as we keep pressing this in between our hands, the fat and the dates come together and then we can easily form laddus like this and of course you garnish them the way you like you can plate them the way you like but the most important thing is that you can eat them you'll feel nice and full they'll be sweet they'll be tasty and you can enjoy them without thinking how many laddus did i just finish if you like this recipe please share like and subscribe think kitchen and down to heart Keep watching.